What's up guys? Well, unfortunately you can see we don't have my gravel yet. It will probably be here Monday, I imagine. Uh, it rained all day Friday, so I imagine they don't deliver in the rain. They don't know what kind of muddy mess they're going to be bringing it to you, I would think. So anyway, um, we do got it all ready for it. I'm even going a little further, doing a lot more over here. We're going to go all the way around this uh, pavement, all the way up to the pavement. So I'm digging down a little bit. So we got that good to go. So again, hopefully Monday, we're supposed to have some bad weather, rain, all kinds of stuff coming. So hopefully we get away from that. We do got it looking pretty good out here. I'm happy with the way the ground's leveled out anyway. And you see here what I'm talking about, I'm going all the way to the pavement with it. This used to be uh, grass out here to about like five or six feet and then the driveway. But I wanna go ahead and do all of this, even if we have to order some more. For now, I'll dump it around in the driveway and we'll just see how far 20 ton goes. I've been watching some videos and it goes pretty far. Anyway, here's what we're messing with today. I haven't drove a Blazer in a while. It does not have a Hobby Wing 1080. Most all my trucks do now, but this one has a 1060, I guess, Reedy or something like that. But it still does pretty good. And we're going to be mostly running these little trucks, I think. We're going to find a spot fun to drive them, and we're going to play with them a little bit. Well, all right, guys, we're going to go for the trailer cam. I don't know how long it'll stay on here without falling off or anything, or how bumpy this is going to be.
right. I can't wait to get a gimbal to make these shots a lot better. Let's see if we can't just unload these things like this. We don't need ramps. Now again, the green one up there doesn't have no kind of slow control like this. You go on that way. So let's try the green one, left-handed. Let's see. I mean, it might get a little bit of slow control. Oops. Don't put a scratch in the bumper. You got a double tap for reverse. I don't care for that, but. It'll be a little fun now, I guarantee it. I wanted to go faster. It actually went a lot easier than I expected. I think it's pretty obvious which one's better. This is going to be a challenging spot. I'm going to try to cut across here and actually cross the log. No bumper, so maybe, you know. I'd have to come at it at a hard angle to get across this. There we go. He's not, not got a lot of control. <laughs> this is definitely not an SCX-24. Just looks like it, like I said. So much more control on this than even for a stock ESC setup. Let's see if I can hit this at the right angle. These white tires at the right angle, we should be able to do this. There we go, like that. That's what I was trying to do the first time, but I didn't quite hit it right. Sorry if you can't see it, I can't tell. So now we're really going to try something stupid for me. We're going to try to get this little fella across these rocks here, one-handed. It may be even on down and out. We're gonna try that. I have a lot more confidence in this Traxxas right here. This thing does not have no kind of torque. I'm telling you, it's just go or no. Oh boy. Man down, man down. Not even gonna waste time trying that little bit. Let's just go right here and see what we can do. I think a straddle would be best right here. <laughs> it's 
like playing leapfrog. Not having no, uh, or doing that double tap reverse, I can't stand that, but there we go. I don't really know what settings or how Traxxas train changes there. Not Traxxas, Axial, sorry, not Axial. Well, Axial, yeah, it's Axial ESC. I'm all confused. I've never really run small trucks on this right here, to be honest. I think once, ooh, man down. I think once I did the uh, little Traxxas truck there. Hey, we made it down. Well, we wrecked at the end. <laughs> oh, well. So now, we're going to try this one from the bottom here. I did the other one down here pretty good, actually. I had to do a little backup. There we go. This has definitely got it like a better tire and everything. I think the weight balance, I can do this without flipping right here, maybe. If I go faster. Ooh, whoo. That was close. Oh man, I'm bottomed out too. Come on. Made it though. Uh, don't flip over, get down there, okay. This thing doesn't have no massive torque either because I think it's got the higher gear in it. I would definitely put some kind of Holmes hobby motor in this or something if I was going to stick with this brush setup. If it was going to be mine. I honestly like the Axial SCX24s when it comes to the torque and the slow crawl and everything. I haven't tried the FMS yet. You know what? We're going we're gonna to come around the same line here because I don't think my bumper's going to let me do that one. The other truck flipped right here. Can we do this? We've got more ground clearance. I think we're all right. Oh. We're going to make this rock move out my way. <laughs> Not going to happen. There we go. Let's just move that. I know it ain't fair, but that's okay. The other truck flipped all the way over there, so... We ride this out. There we go. There's no way we're coming back up, but we're gonna try it. Uh, I can't really see my tires. There we go. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't happening. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to give this little fella a try on the way up. I don't think it's going to happen. Because I have to come all the way over here and get up this rock here. I don't have a lot of confidence in this rig. <laughs> I was thinking it'd be a good one for a four wheeler, but nah. Man down. All right, let's see if we can't set him up for a victory here. I think once the back tire says it's going to just flip. Okay, we ain't even going to make it that far before it flips. Let's set it up for another victory here. Let's give it a boost. All right. I don't know where we're going to go now. Oh, we're screwed. We are so screwed. Oh, yeah. Man down. Watch this. She got some pep in her step at least. Well, it seemed like it was faster. Battery's probably getting low. Oops, sorry. Like, where is it? I don't even see it. Take battery about dead. So Let's just at least go for it. Okay. Thought for sure I can get across it. This thing's got a huge brass rod up front. 
And it's square. It's not even round. What the hell? It's going to catch every rock there is. And again, I'm trying to do this one-handed, and y'all know I don't have them one-handed skills like this. Hey, we might actually do this one. Uh, you don't have no torque, I'm telling you. This has definitely got to be the more high-speed setup. Because if Axial thought you were going to crawl with a, something like that, hey, we stayed in one piece, too. They had to set it up more torque. This must be like the top, the high speed setup or something. Let's see which one's faster over here. All right, it's getting dark already. I want to see if I can do a drag race. I'm going to see which one's the fastest. All right, the green one was the fastest. The Chevy, of course the Chevy's faster. Oh, it is straight up cold right now. So, I hope this video wasn't too shaky at the beginning with all the bouncing on the trailer. I really just wanted to give it a try. And I don't know how long it's going to be by the time I edit all this, but if you stuck with till the end, I really appreciate you guys. You're awesome. All of you guys that watch the videos and comment, I really appreciate it. Let me know if you know what that chassis is. I know it's all customed up right now, but I don't know. Is it an RGT or an Enduro or what it is? Just let me know if you know. And stay tuned for hopefully new gravel in the driveway. And yeah, we're waiting on a few things, but I am going to get me an SCX6 hauler. Or, God, I'm all confused. TRX6 hauler. We getting one of them. And I don't know what else. We'll figure it out. I'm getting a gimbal. So this here right here to shaking you all that, that'll be gone. I'm happy enough with the picture I get. I just want to get a gimbal. I'm shaking right now because I'm freezing. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.